What is up guys, welcome back to another video. I got three different stocks that you guys should definitely load up on. And the first one is gonna be Petco Health and Wellness. This isn't the first time that Petco went public. In fact, they went public like two decades ago before going private. But now Petco, this recent IPO, is definitely the one that you wanna take advantage of. Especially how the IPO price went all the way up to $30 before collapsing back down to 21. But recently, Petco seems to be having a massive floor value of $19 to $20. Even though the stock could drop, I don't think it could go below 19. At the very most, probably drop to 20 before going back up again. The market cap of the company really isn't that big, and they recently have been getting lots of investments for online. They're mostly known as a brick and mortar retail store for pet supplies. If you guys don't know, a lot of pet companies right now, like Fresh Pet and Chewy on Robinhood, they've been growing extremely well. And guess what? Americans are spending more money on pets than ever before since they're working at home. And the amount of people adopting pets is at a really rapid basis to the point that animal shelters are running out of pets to give to people. So we definitely gotta check out some options for Wolf stock right here. Now I don't recommend weeklies. I definitely recommend something that's 30 days out. And I recommend buying the $25 option or even the $30 option, which is extremely cheap. With the implied volatility at 55%, there's virtually no inflation for the price. Especially if you are really interested and in probably getting like 10X gains, I highly recommend buying the $30 strike price for May 21st, and it's only $8 for one single contract. And I don't know if Wolf stock could actually go up that much, but recently the stock has been consolidating really well at $20-$21. And when there's major consolidation of a stock, usually there's a massive breakout all the way to all-time highs. If Petco does eventually climb back up to $29-$30, you're looking at from eight bucks to maybe $50 or $60 for this trade. On top of that, plus you got Fresh Pet, Chewy, all of the major pet companies out there are growing really well. Just check out their stocks. Pet companies are really weird. For some reason, they grow extremely well, probably because of constant sales. And remember, Warren Buffett has always said, invest in companies that people use on a daily basis. When you buy a pet, you're gonna be having to use a lot of pet supplies, pet food, and treats for your animals. And this is exactly what Petco has to offer, especially with a recent $150 million investment to their digital assets. I think they're pretty serious and trying to change themselves from just a brick and mortar store to something more online based. This is why Petco is such a good stock. This is a stock that has pretty low volume, only 1.64 million, meaning that Wall Street bets, retail traders, and the majority of institutional traders haven't really taken note of Petco, but once it starts climbing, you wanna jump in before anyone else does. Now, second stock that we will be talking about is gonna be Royal Caribbean Group. Now, you don't have to just buy RCL. I highly suggest diversifying if you're going to the cruise line industry. Maybe Norwegian Cruise Lines or Carnival Cruise Lines are some of the best ones. And the reason why I'm introducing to you guys for Royal Caribbean is because these guys haven't returned back to the floor value. Right now, it's $89. I think the floor value for Royal Caribbean is roughly 105 to 110. If you look at some of the airline stocks like Delta Airlines, it has already recovered back to its pre-pandemic high. Whereas companies like CCL, they're still really, really far away from their all-time high. I mean, before they dropped, they were priced at roughly $48 to $50. Right now, they're $29. Bucks. It's still severely undervalued. So I highly recommend buying some options. Now, I don't recommend anything in the summertime or anything in the fall. I recommend something super far out, like January 21st, 2022. You may be asking, why did I pick options that are eight months out? It's because currently the CDC is preventing a lot of cruises from actually going operational for this summer. And I can't really blame them since this whole situation isn't finished yet. So I highly recommend perhaps buying the $110 call. It's kind of pricey at $925. But if you feel like the cruising industry can recover back to their all-time pre-pandemic price, just like some of the airline stocks, then I highly recommend RCL or even CCL if you don't have that much money. CCL options and also Norwegian is way cheaper than Royal Caribbean. And last but not least, we gotta talk about PAVE stock. This is P-A-V-E. This is the Global X US Infrastructure Development ETF. Now we all know what Biden's doing right now. They got the massive $2 trillion infrastructure plan. 
If that gets approved, we should be seeing a lot of construction, renewal bridges, construction of new roads, and also massive boost in clean energy. This is why I highly recommend the Global X US Infrastructure ETF. I mean, it's very good in the past year, slow and steady gains. Remember the massive NASDAQ crash that happened like several weeks ago where the NASDAQ took a nosedive of 12%? Well, PAVE didn't really go down because it's infrastructure. It's pretty safe and it's pretty stable and it's going back up. Remember during that one time when like the clean energy ETFs kept going up, where I feel like PAVE, this infrastructure ETF should definitely keep going up as well. So I highly recommend buying some call options for these as well. And I don't recommend weeklies. I recommend something at least 30 days out or four to five weeks. And I recommend something like $25. These options are not expensive at all. They're pretty cheap. Implied volatility is super low at 30%, meaning that they're not inflated at all. And it's only $25 per contract, which is pretty phenomenal in my opinion. And the reason why I'm stressing about this is $2 trillion is not a small number. It's two whopping trillion dollars. That is a lot of money putting into the infrastructure plan. And obviously this ETF tracks a lot of companies in the infrastructure department. Obviously construction companies are in this, for example, Caterpillar. And I feel like if this does get approved, we should be seeing continuous growth, massive surges for PAVE. Now the chances of this bill passing, in my opinion, is pretty high, especially how Biden and a lot of members in the government agencies, they're actually pretty happy about this, especially how this will create a lot of jobs and booster the economy. Even some stocks in the tech industry are recognizing this and they're going up as well. And the reason why PAVE stock hasn't completely go up yet is because it hasn't really been passed yet. The bill is still pending, but I feel like once this you know, $2 trillion proposal totally gets approved, it should be going back up again. Now, one of my favorite places most likely be Petco, especially how these guys has hit the floor value of $21, $19. I don't really see it going any lower, especially in the past several weeks. It's been hovering around this past price target from early March all the way to now, it's at $20 to $21. I don't think Petco could go down any further. If it was gonna go down, it would have went down around March 26th before bouncing back up again to 22. So I really highly recommend Petco stock, especially with the recent $150 million investment for the digital assets. And the company itself is super small at $5.74 billion. And there's more pet adoptions. As long as Petco continuously has good revenue, good earnings, it's a pretty decent long-term play. You probably have noticed I'm not introducing any plays that will make you money in the short term. These are plays that will make you pretty decent money in the long term, and you should be able to profit a decent chunk of cash from this. And once again, Petco options are extremely cheap. Might as well drag this out to June 18th. The $30 strike prices are only $38 a pop, and it's fairly cheap to open a position. Now, if you guys are interested in the cruises, this is obviously a lot more risky. If there's more restrictions and also more you know, lockdowns, for this you know, industry, cruises will absolutely plummet to the dirt. I see the cruising industry is one of the most you know, dangerous ones to play, especially it really fluctuates a lot on the news, whereas companies like Petco, they don't really care, and plus it has stabilized anyway. If you guys want to take advantage of the $2 trillion proposal, I highly recommend PAVE. And even if the $2 trillion proposal doesn't get an, you know approved, we're at 0% interest rates. There's a lot of construction anyway. If you guys want some nice solid gains, I mean, these guys go up roughly 5% every month. And if you buy some pretty decent calls, and these calls are pretty you know low in the implied volatility, not really inflated, it's a really good play. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Definitely check out BlockFi. Link in the description. Click on it. Make a BlockFi account deposits of money and get up to $250 worth of Bitcoin. They're literally giving guys free cash. And there's also a few links in description as well. One of them is a private Discord server and the other one is a community Discord server. Definitely check those out.